Well, that's a hard question because there are so many different categories. I suppose you have to look maybe at different types of books. Theology, for me, would be Aquinas' Summa Theologiae. It was a book that changed my life and a book I've gone back to over and over again, a book that I teach. Um, it's the book of my life in many ways. So I would say in theology, it's the Summa Theologiae of Thomas Aquinas. Poetry, I'd say Dante's Divine Comedy. You know, I, I love T.S. Eliot, I love the you know, uh, Iliad and the Odyssey and all that, but I, I think Dante's Divine Comedy uh, sums up so much of, of what's best in uh, the Western and Christian tradition. Spirituality, I'd say Merton's Seven Story Mountain, a, another book that made a huge difference in my life. I think probably the greatest spiritual writing of the 20th century. Um, and still a compelling story. I mean, still a, a book that you'd stay up at night reading. So spirituality, I'd say Merton, Seven Story Mountain. Um, novels, uh, a lot of great novels. I love uh, Moby Dick. I love Herman Melville's Moby Dick, which is you know the great American novel. But also, it's a book. It's one of those books that's about life. It's it's all of life is in uh, that book. Um, the, there's the intellectual life, the emotional life. There's religion. There's there's passion. There's sexuality. There's everything. Um, so I would say Moby Dick, maybe if I'm looking at novels, um, drama. Macbeth, <laughs> anybody Shakespeare, but it's my favorite of the Shakespearean plays. Um, you know, anyone that loves language, that loves life, that loves uh, deep truth about human things would read Shakespeare. And Macbeth, to me, is the greatest of the Shakespeare plays. So I guess I look at those various categories uh, and say those are my, was that five? <laughs> That'd be my top five.